See, we don't need a scandal or how to get away with murder. We have a drama tax story skills in our Bible. Bible stories like this one. This skit is titled, Me and Mrs. Jones. <laughs> it concerns David, the greatest hero of Hebrew history, and by God's testimony, a man after his own heart. So men have weaknesses, well, even men after God's own heart. And God is not ashamed to share with us the weaknesses of his greatest saints. We learn some in indispensable lessons from their mistakes, such as the utter vileness of our hearts, the horrible consequences of our sin, and the unfathomable depths of God's forgiving grace. <laughs> One day late in the afternoon, David got up from his nap and went to the palace roof. As he walked around up there, he saw a woman taking a bath in her house. She was very beautiful. So he sent a messenger to find out who she was and learned that she was Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam and the wife of Uriah the Hittite. David sent messengers to get her. They brought her to him and he made love to her. She had just finished her monthly ritual of purification. Then she went back home. Afterwards, she discovered she was pregnant and sent a message to David to tell him. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, he knows what I want. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going to call my boy Joe Adams, you got to get her over her. <laughs> Sitting in a chair, like sitting out in the streets, uh, solo doing, about to go dab on. I agree, man. Hey, I call you about something real important, man. You know a girl across the way, man. You know the one with the jacuzzi in the back. Don't worry about you there. Yeah, I'm real. What are you yeah. talking about again? The girl stayed behind me, man. The girl with the jacuzzi. Man, she was outside taking the bath, man. And, woo, my eyes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know her. Hey. <laughs> She married, ain't she? Joel. And? <laughs> what does that have to do with me? <laughs> hey, I'm King David, man. You know I get what I want. And for another thing, man, you can't tell me she did not see me look at her. She knew what she was doing. Uh, oh, yeah, she probably watching you too. You, exactly, she knows. <laughs> hey, bro, even where's her husband at? Hey, he in the military, man. He probably on tour. I'm supposed to be gone too, but I'm not on sick leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, hey, I'm glad my feet, man. They sent me home too. Man. <laughs> but hey, Joe Beasley, man, I want that girl, man. You need to make it happen for me. Oh. I'm having a small kickback in my house, man. Why don't you have to try to see if you can't get over her? I got you, KD. She can, oh. Uh... Matter of fact, if she kicked it with my girl, we're going to be going out. I'll just set up for you. There you go, man. Hey, let's make that happen, man. I'll be in the house, bro. Got you, got All you. All right, thank you, bro.
know you was coming. Usually you call me. Well, I thought I'd do a drive-by and hear from you in a couple of weeks since the party. What's going on? Girl, you in this party. I knew I should have stayed at home. Girl, what's going on? Girl, so you know, your boy, Joe and his boy, David, right? So we've been, you know, we've been kicking it. What you mean kicking it? I'm kicking it like, what's that new slang? Netflix and chill. We've been Netflix chill. and chilling late nights and early morning. What? Yes, come yeah. in and it gets worse. Still it. I ain't telling you, you gonna feel it on my face. Come on, You gonna tell me, you go back. Where's my grandma? That's way back now. I'm pregnant. You what? I'm, I'm pregnant, girl. Are you serious? Hello? Serious or heart attack? We don't want one of those. Did you forget that you have a man? Uh, oh, a husband? Oh, now I got a husband. She be your name. You gonna be our lonely dad. You ready to go? No, I said, no, nah, don't have what to say. I told you he talked too much. No, nah, he won't say. Then when y'all go, I get comfortable. We you ready to go? He said, he's going to take me home. Hey, I told you to come. So he's like, what are we going to do? What is he going to do? What are we going to do? My husband will be home in two to three months. Have you told him? Told who? I can tell. Can tell you how he is this is Have you told David? Um, I don't know how he's going to ask. Like, I know him, know him, but I don't know him. You know I'm enough to have baby with him. <laughs> I saw I hate your phone is ringing. You about to leave, girl. All right. My man is texting me. And I'm faithful, too. But I don't understand. I don't know that you're bad. Whatever you want to do, I got you. We'll get through this together. Uh, bye, girl. Bye, girl. <laughs> friends, bye. Okay. So, baby, get here. He's been gone for two months. We're going to be home two months. So, I'm pregnant. 
Some of your descendants will die a violent death because you have disobeyed me and have taken Uriah's wife. I swear to you that I will call someone from your own family to bring trouble on you. You will see it when I take your wives from you and give them to another man. And he will have intercourse with them in broad daylight. You send in secret that I will make this happen in broad daylight for all Israel to see. I have sinned against the Lord, David said. Nathan replied, the Lord forgives you. He will not die. 
but because you have shown such contempt for the Lord in doing this, your child will die. Everybody on Facebook telling their business. I guess I'll post my business too then. Oh Lord, I'm sitting here just thinking over my life and all that has happened to me. Well, to us really. I first thank you for my life and the blessings, even when I didn't deserve them. The road of my life is not easy. After sleeping with another man when I was married, hashtag please forgive me, getting pregnant by him, then losing my husband, Oh Lord, oh Lord, that was so hard, or so I thought. Because then to lose my child and to watch David suffer himself through the whole thing was the most unbearable feeling yet. Even in my darkest, I'm sorry, even in our darkness and weakest moments, you are still there. And when we get through at having a pity party, you brought me. The blessing to me and David, our son Solomon. <coughs> oh Lord, you are an awesome God. Oh. And we're sitting there reading Facebook, everybody put their business out there. <coughs> hmm. Talking about that God don't love them. Ain't that something? Hmm. What is this? They see such stuff, they gonna kill them. Boy, people is really crazy on this Facebook. Wow, that was she that's posted something? Well, I guess I'll put my bed inside her too then. <laughs> oh Jesus, oh Jesus. I've done some terrible things in this life. And I have nobody to blame but myself. I fell in love with another man's wife. First I Never should have looked upon her in the tub. It's amazing how one sin will cause one bad thing after another. I've done so many people wrong, Lord. I've had a man killed and destroyed people's lives. And every action has a consequence. It's no wonder you took my sin, even after I pleaded with you to take me instead. I'm a weak vessel, Lord. I've learned a lesson you can't always have what you want in life. And it's taking it will make matters worse. Oh, but thank God you're forgiving, God. Because I've fallen short over and over again. But you kept on blessing me. Now I have the woman I really and truly love. And thank God a healthy son. You are definitely worthy to be praised. And through it all, I'm a better man. All, right. all because of you, God. I have fought as a weak man. And oh, Jesus, how I love you. And thank you for not giving up on me. And you still continue to show me favor. Mm -hmm. See, I think that's a lot of life.